and welcome to Life with Christy. My name is Christy. If you found this video, it's most likely because you are planning on moving to Germany. You found a job here or a university. But these are 10 things that you need to know before making that move. Let's get into it. As of 2021, more than 23% of immigrants made up the population of Germany in a whole. That's just under 19 million people that work together to make this country what it seems to be. The first thing I would tell you to get set on, really, from experience of living here in Berlin, is to find a place, find an apartment, even before moving. Because the competition to find an apartment can be dire. I've gone to places where more than 200 people come for just sighting the apartment, just looking around. And from that, they have to pick just one person to live in that apartment. I would also like to say that when searching for an apartment, it would need several things. You need like a map, almost like a file, <laughs> like a file while searching for an apartment. I will list some of the things that will be necessary, right from your proof of income to your shufa. To um, shufa is like, um, um, a credit um, worthiness that you are able to take credit and pay back in due time um, and also um, your documents that you are um, permitted on the in the land or in the country of, of Germany that searching for an apartment would be something not so easy of course you can check for um, a vige vige means that you're living with several other people but if it is like you're moving with your family, that would be something that would be a bit difficult for flexibility and space and for privacy, you would have to search before landing. And I will tell you that this would be on maybe Emo Scout, Vigeke Suit, maybe for students. And I'll put some other lists down below where you can also just reach out to them and tell them that you'll be landing soon and you're searching for an apartment. You can send them the documents they need. And I would advise that you be very meticulous in this because there are a lot of scammers that can get to you while searching um, for an apartment, most likely in a haste. So that's why I, I, I advise that you take about two months, three months, or even more searching for an, for an apartment before landing in Germany. And then upon arrival, it is crucial for you to do your Almedong. And an Almedong is like a registration of your, um, of your address, where you live in. I would say that this is very important because here in Germany, most of the official um, interaction with the government or with a particular um, office or amt <laughs> would be that um, it will be sent through post to you most important um, things will be most the most important things will be sent through post so not sent through your email or thereabout so in the first two weeks of landing in germany it is advised for you to register in one of the basic amt most likely before coming in you can also think about doing this would be your health insurance it is paramount that you get a, a, a health insurance that covers everything that you want or that is specific to you I would leave some also here you can check for dark you can check for our car these are like gesetzliche kranking versicherung that's what they call it so like something that you can do and this only works with um, if you are a student for instance 
or you're employed at a particular firm. But if you're a Fry Berufla, that means you are a freelancer, you have another one. And this you can also, um, you can talk about it with your cranking um, casa. So with the particular health insurance company that you would be open to working with. So number four, like the transport is very important. For getting around the city, you can get a bike, um, that which is more um, environmental friendly, but you can also get on the public transport. The public transport um, with the U-Bahn or S-Bahn, depending on your connection. But if you just want something that is all through Deutschland and you can move freely from one city to another but not a fast speed train then you can get the 49 euro ticket this is with the Deutschland ticket that's what it's called and you can get it on different platforms from BVG um, for those in Berlin to VBB or to DB I would advise against DB I used them <laughs> and it wasn't a very good experience but um, you can search for the one in your city and um, get um, that 49 euro ticket and it will be easy for you to seamlessly travel using the regional trains, the, the regional Liban from one city to another. And then coming next to the banking, yes. So now you're here and you want to be receiving money. Most likely if you're employed here or just a student working part time, getting um, funds and having funds in a bank that is trustworthy is most um, paramount. Um, I would le leave a list of banks you can, but most likely I would say that you want something that is efficient because it runs, um, the, the German um, banks run in a very um, old way. That's what I would say. <laughs> in the nice, in a, in a nice way, the, they run in a kind of a, antique way. So I personally would um, fill it. So I give you an, um, an advice to, but this is not a financial advice to um i've used both um like sparkasa which is a german bank and um, something like revolut and with revolut you can use it anywhere in germany and even outside in the eu so that you can just like get and you can use it for um, schooling and all of that and you can get all your statements or if something happens easily with that so um, I would personally um, take out a Revolut, Wise, um, any of those um, who N12 yeah I also heard about them and they're quite a good bank so any of those banks would be my personal preference but for those who want to walk into a bank and talk to the cashier or something then you could choose from any of the German banks and most likely your cards will be sent to um, also by post and that is why the Almedonk is very very important so they can send you your cards um, by post and it can get to you in time. That would be the language Yes, if you were living in places like Bremen, Berlin, Frankfurt, or Hamburg, the big cities, it would be easier for you to communicate in English. But if you're moving for work in smaller cities, then German is your friend. You would need to start learning the language. Most likely start before coming, but start learning the language. So if you're working, check for if you can have like um, some hours to learn the language and I tell you this is very important for your survival here really because I have been able to learn right now from A1 to B2 and in another video which I'll link just up here and you'll be able to see um, 
have a fast way and easy way to learn German and I hope that helps you so just click the video up here and that would be your friend okay so another thing that you would need to familiarize yourself with would be the cost of living if you're living in places like Frankfurt or Munich it's relatively high especially with the rent the rent is going to most likely t and utilities as that comes as a whole would most likely take the bulk of your income so um, looking for a place that would um, satisfy the income you're making currently would be very um, important for you to look at the cost of living I can I'll put it just right if you're gonna compare for instance Berlin and Frankfurt Relative to <sighs> Frankfurt, you make more money, but also it's more expensive. And in Berlin, you make less, but most likely you spend less, depending on where you live. <laughs> Another thing that would be great to familiarize yourself with would be the walk and residence permit. Look into your paragraphs, like what is necessary, the requirements, that would help you in securing the right papers for what you need to be studying or for work. I will do a little bit more on that in my next video. And if this is something that you would like to know about, make sure you drop a comment in the section below. Button here. Another thing that you would also look into to better your quality of life. As people say, getting a friend in Germany is hard. But I don't think so. If you get to meet other experts, you can find a lot of events on Eventbrite and you can just walk in and talk to people. And that would make your experience here in Germany on another level. You can network for work, you can also um, interact and just have a social bond with other people. Because yes, the winters can be very cloudy and long and having people to talk to, I think, makes life way better. Don't you think so? However, if you found all these tips quite helpful, it would be wonderful to just drop a like. And if you haven't subscribed, I look forward to actually seeing you subscribe we are at 359 subscribers currently and i'm so grateful to everyone that has believed in my dream coming so far to give information as to life changing situations to everybody and i'm happy to do this to help me to continue to do this while well, i have been doing this a long time haven't gotten any any pay from it right but to support me in going forward it will be wonderful if you subscribe let's get to that 1000 subscriber right okay yeah! um, have a wonderful day business tomorrow choose